Sun, man's fastest flight. Here are eight tons of flying laboratory designed and built for the United States Air Force by Bell Aircraft Corporation, pioneer in the nation's conquest of the skies, an achievement crowning 10 years of research in supersonic flight. This is Saturday, December 12, 1953. Weather conditions are ideal for a routine test of the X-1A. Here at Edwards Air Force Base in California is a brilliant setting for the flight. Clear blue skies over sparkling desert colors. Giant hydraulic jacks raise the B-29 bomber that will carry the X-1A up to launching altitude. While the rocket ship is designed to take off from the ground, it has only enough fuel for about four minutes flying time. So releasing the X-1A high in the air permits the fuel to be devoted to the flights through the stratosphere. The X-1A seems almost small for the task ahead of it, but it is one of the sturdiest planes ever built, structurally and aerodynamically sound. Made of polished aluminum alloy, the X-1A is 35 feet in length, stands 10 feet high, and has a wingspan of 28 feet. The B-29 is lowered carefully over the waiting rocket ship. Crew members are ready to connect the X-1A to the launching rack of the B-29. All that remains now is locking the X-1A to the launching mechanism. Once in place, the sling straps will be removed and the sleek little aircraft will be moved to the fueling area. Four rocket chambers powering the X-1A can be fired independently or together. They develop a total of 6,000 pounds thrust or an equivalent of 30,000 horsepower. Fuel is alcohol and water combined with liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen has a temperature of almost 300 degrees below zero. Protective clothing must be worn while handling it. Clouds of vapor condensed by the extreme cold flow down the side of the ship and cover the ground. Into another compartment goes the mixture of alcohol and water. These combine with liquid oxygen during flight to feed the powerful rocket motor. All is now in readiness for the flight. Crew members climb to their posts. Among them is Air Force Major Charles E. Yeager, who first cracked the supersonic barrier in 1947 in the original X-1. In a matter of minutes now, Major Yeager and the X-1A will streak through the heavens. During the flight, ground communications will be in contact with Major Yeager and flight personnel. As part of its overall research program, the X-1A attains high speeds. The target for today is Mach 2 or better, more than twice the speed of sound. This high-flying laboratory carries intricate electronic instruments that will record the tremendous stresses as the X-1A challenges the unexplored regions beyond Mach 2. We're now switching to flight communication. Thank you. 
The escort plane is left behind as the X-1A approaches 1,000 miles an hour. Sixteen hundred and fifty miles per hour, two and one half times the speed of sound. The X-1A records a new chapter in aviation history. Its pilot, Major Yeager, is recognized as the world's fastest human. Another Air Force pilot, Major Arthur Murray, subsequently became the world's highest human. The X-1A was made ready for another record flight, this time to probe the higher altitudes. On May 28, 1954, the X-1A is borne aloft by the mothership for its flight into the stratosphere. At an altitude of 30,000 feet, the X-1A is air-launched from the B-29. The plane begins its steep climb with rocket engines blasting it upward at supersonic speed. Four minutes later, the X-1A was at 90,000 feet, a distance of almost 18 miles into the heavens. Major Murray has described his feeling upon reaching the tremendous altitude as one of incredible loneliness, especially when the skies darkened around him and the Earth's curvature became clearly visible. Yes, this is the X-1A. Its records of 1,650 miles per hour and 90,000 feet in altitude are more achievements in aviation science, and they will bring valuable data to be used in the tactical aircraft and guided missiles of the future for the nation's defense. Planes like the X-1A are vital to the development of this country's air power. New barriers will be conquered, better planes will be born, as science probes further into the mysterious forces of the universe.